welcome back guys to another video on fishing for anything outdoors today we are out here on a farm shooting pests like sparrows starlings rats pigeons whatever we can find that the farmer wants us to shoot we're gonna shoot it and there's a lot of birds here it's abundance nobody's been shooting these they're pretty tame honestly so it's, it should be pretty easy what I have today is I have the Benjamin Gunnar 25 caliber it holds 3,000 PSI in a 400 cc tank so it holds a lot of air I can get around 90 shots from this gun right here but just in case I do run out of air I have the Air Venturi 4500 PSI carbon fiber refillable tank here and I'm just about ready to refill this gun here we've been doing a lot of shooting today a uh, farmer called me texted me the other day was like hey there's still a lot of rats around um, but you did a great job uh, you know what there's a cowbird right now what did I do brother hmm I think I need to refill my air tank we've been doing a lot of shooting I hit low on that one. So I like to refill it when it hits around that 1500 to 2000 PSI mark. I did bring my big four air rifle, the Texan Air Force SS, in case we see a groundhog. So we'll see, maybe we'll see a groundhog today, maybe we won't. Then we're gonna continue driving around the farm and shooting these pests. So you guys follow along and see what we all get. so dumb he moved just as I shot so we're out here waiting for groundhogs and uh, we saw a group of starlings here by the feet lines we decided that's what we're gonna be shooting until the groundhogs come out Right there it is. Waiting on the rain till those groundhogs pop out again. Shooting starlings and sparrows. Good. It's hitting nice. Yeah, we've been sitting here for a few minutes now. And the sparrows, this is a pretty good spot. The sparrows just keep coming in and they fly on top of the these boards here and I just keep planking them off. It's a lot of fun. Gone. How many yards is this? There's a groundhog right up there right now. Let me see how many yards. Is that? Up there, I got yards. Spill. Let's get a little bit closer. We, I think we can move up towards this. Let me see. I would like to get to 50 yards. Where's the range finder? I got it right here. Let's range it again. It's 40 yards, we can do this.
perfect shot. That I killed my over. first groundhog with this gun right here with one of the pellets that I made. Isn't that awesome? And just as I shot, there was another one coming out of the hole. Its head was sticking out. So we'll sit around and we'll get another one. No, but another, just as I shot this groundhog, there was another one right beside it. And we're just gonna wait a little bit. Hopefully it pops up and we can get ourselves two groundhogs from the same hole. Like I said today, it's a mixed bag, mixed air gun. And while we're at it, I should tell you guys a little bit about this air gun right here. This is a Texan Air Force SS 357 caliber. Like you've seen before, I tried to make my own pellets and they were too large, but yesterday I went down in my basement and I made the exact diameter that I need and the exact grains. And then we're gonna go groundhog hunt. So you guys wanna stick around for this. Not sure um, how this will go, but I've always wanted to make my own pellets. I know I just need to get the right mold, but right now I don't want to spend a few hundred dollars on a mold, so I'm just gonna make do with what I have. And I put it in here, and I just shot my first groundhog with my own pellets that I made. Feels like a great success for me. I think I'm gonna be making more pellets to shoot more things with this gun. But this thing is very powerful. 3,000 PSI as well. Got a pretty big tang on here and it's just an awesome gun. If you guys haven't already, you guys should get into air gunning. It is a lot of fun, it's quiet. You don't scare the cows, like on a farm like this, it's perfect, you don't scare the cows, you don't scare the animals, and you don't scare the people that work here. So, it's a win-win for everybody. I'm excited, I'm excited. We're trying to get one more ground hole. I know there's some more in there, and we'll just have to wait it out. I love my air guns, and this thing packs a wallet. All right, we got another head popping out, and we're gonna take the shot. Perfect. She's dead. <laughs> Dude, how perfect was that? And I got it on video on my scope cam. That is absolutely amazing. You guys wanna watch this? All right, we're heading over there right now. We're gonna retrieve the groundhogs and we're gonna see where we hit them. I think they made a clean pass through. We're gonna, we're gonna check that out. This is the last one I shot. Oh, it made a clean pass through. Let me see. Oh, look at look at what it does to them. Wow, that was a clean pass through. And it hit the concrete behind it, and it and it just obliterated that pellet. I can't believe it. That air gun is very strong, and this thing dropped immediately. Let me see if I can find the other one. Where's the other one? This was a perfect, perfect hard shot as well. I hit right there. Right there's the uh, entry wound, and there's the exit wound. Two groundhogs down, 20 more to go. I just saw another big one pop, oh, there it is, there it is. We're gonna have to wait until it pops his head further out, and the wind is pretty strong. I saw brains fly, boys. I wanna really get a pigeon today. So we just, we just spotted a couple uh, pigeons over here eating from the soybean meal. And so we're gonna sneak up on them, we're gonna try to shoot them, they're around 50 yards. Yeah, boys, we got ourselves a pigeon at 50 yards. Let's see what kind of shot I made on it. How awesome is this? I shot it 50 yards over it. It flew about 50 yards over here, and right here it is. And I made a perfect, perfect heart shot right in there. The farmer said a couple times already that they have killed all the 
pigeons from this farm because they eat a lot of food and they poop everywhere and but they just keep coming back so every pigeon we kill it's better for the farmers Another perfect shot. I'm sure it flew down the other side and died, but that was a headshot right where I hit the other one. Perfect shot. Here we uh, shot some groundhog, we shot some pigeons, we shot sparrows, starlings. Now we're gonna try to shoot a few rats and then we're gonna wrap this video up. But come with me, let's shoot some rats with my 25 caliber bench.